that's a bit low. Oh. Tea? Tea. Tea. Cheers. Cheers. That brake light worked pretty well. That's pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, how did you do it? Today, we're going to be showing you how to fit a flashing brake light to your car. Awesome. Tea. Cheers. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Project 86. In this video we're going to be working on the braking system, but not in terms of pads or discs. We're actually going to be fitting the G-Stop Emergency Brake Light Display, which is a nifty little kit that essentially you put between the car's brake and the brake light, or the third brake light. And when you heavy brake, it'll make it flash. That's pretty much it. So unlike the Chinese stuff that you find, or the stuff on eBay and all that, uh, it's, they're not legal, essentially. This is 100% legal and complies with all the regulations. The regulations state that below 30 mile an hour, the EBLD emergency brake light display, the manufacturer is allowed to switch from flashing brake warning and activate the hazards instead. It is an optional regulation in the UNE CE rules, and BMW, Mercedes and all that sometimes don't do it, while some Audis and Fords do, and that's because the driver doesn't know if the brake lights are flashing. They are only aware of this when they slow down to below 30 mile an hour and the hazard lights are activated. The flashing of hazards under emergency braking alone is not compliance of the regulations. So essentially, the regulations do not permit the hazards to do that alone, and additionally, they need to have the brake lights flashing before the hazards flash. So essentially that is a really simple overview um, of kind of why this emergency brake light display is legal while the Chinese ones aren't because essentially Chinese ones whenever you hit the brakes it makes them flash and a lot of kits in America, I've seen a lot of kits with the GT86 on American websites and a lot of people say oh this is a great kit but all it does is make it flash every time you touch the brakes which is a nightmare. This if you're not moving it'll be a normal brake light, if you're braking heavily it will flash. The only thing it won't do, obviously, is make your hazard lights flash. So you're probably wondering what comes with the G-Stop kit. Well, essentially, you get a load of instructions, which essentially show you how to fit it. It's really simple to do. I will show you really quickly how you do it. You take the adapter cable here. You take your earth and wire it into your earth. You then essentially put this in between the power going to your brake and your brake lights. So you clip that. So your power comes in, you snip the cable, you connect it to that end, and you connect the other end of the cable to this end. Some people solder it, some people uh, splice and dice, I don't know. Some people use the taps, some people solder, and some people just twist it and tape it. I'd have no idea who would ever just do twisting and taping. Right, so moving on, it's temporary. I always do it temporarily, temporarily, and it always ends up being there for about a year. Right, so, <laughs> or I sell the car. Um, so essentially you also get in the kit these little adapter things if you want to kind of have it so you feed the power in there and then you pull the other power out to the uh, brake light flashing kit and you also get a nice little sticker as well that will allow you to stick it to the boot of your car. Nice and simple. So the easiest way for me to show you how it works is to do a little demo because they provided this handy little adapter kit. Need a battery, connect it up. Okay, so you can see it's flashing because I've moved it. So if we sit it still, put it flat. There we go. So as you can see, so essentially, imagine I've just pressed the brakes. The light has come on. Do not look directly into it, buddy. Yeah, it does blind you. The light comes on, so that now shows that I have brakes normally. But if I lift it, and I think there's a certain angle I can get it to. There you go. So I've now moved the accelerometer, which essentially is simulating the fact that I have braked heavily. You can see that it's flashing. If I then put it flat. There you go. After the defined time, it then stops. So essentially, that is simulating me heavy braking. I've kept my foot on the brakes. The person's coming up behind me. There you go. So that really is a simple way of showing how it works. 
But enough of you showing you on a kit like this, uh, let's have a look at it in action on my car. So that is G-Stop, that's a great overview of the product and essentially I recommend you get it. It's, the links will be in the description below for UK and US Amazon. It completely complies, all, complies with all the laws. It really is a great piece of kit. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to watch more Project 86, click here. If you'd like to watch the Clio project, you can actually click here. So yeah, if you want to watch James's videos, click here. If you want to watch my videos, because <laughs> my videos are really cool, you can here. Right, mine will be. Mine will be. We've got some cool videos to come on this channel. Let's be honest, we've got some cool ones. This is cool. I like things like this. Natty little things like this. Because you, like, you wouldn't really think about it. Mm -hmm. and, like, when I thought about it before, the only things I found were Chinese rubbish. So I didn't buy it. But this is really cool. So yeah, hit them up in the links in the description below. Let them know we sent you. And yeah, I think it's really cool. This one's, this one's going to be fit tomorrow. This is the spare one. Yeah, we'll fit it to yours. There you go, see? Both of our cars now have it. kit. Now this is really a simple kit. Essentially you take the power of oh, that camera. I just got left looking to this one. Hi guys, welcome back to Project 86 and in this video we're going to be doing a video on the brakes but not actually making them better. Well, kind of better. We're actually going to be changing the brake light flashing system. We're actually going to be implementing the G dot this G stop. So I went with G dot. <laughs> version of this coming out in a few weeks' time, which requires um, essentially us to swap this out and do that again because I forgot where I was going with that. 